My topic is, is an order visualization film based on multicolor fluorescent microbeads and the single color fluorescent multicolor microbeads. Uh, first of all, I will introduce uh, three key information uh, of order and, uh, and introduce how we use uh, Florence exchange uh, friends mechanism in my work. And uh, second, I will uh, talk about fabrication of uh, Florence microbeads. In experiment section, I will uh, introduce uh, this microbeads characters and uh, gas evaluation experiments. The final is the conclusion. Uh, every day we wake up with uh, odor from plants, a perfume, uh, maybe breakfast made by your parents, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, families. Uh, because of the odor type, intensity, and spatial distribution, uh, make us know the odor, odorant, uh, and the, its branding tracks, and uh, whether the smelling is strong or weak. Uh, These two, uh, three key uh, information also help us to uh, develop odor sensors. Uh, nowadays, we applied odor sensors to uh, detect plants uh, odors in IoT agriculture, and also can detect human scent to find uh, our easy part. But uh, semiconductor and the QCN uh, gas sensors are good at uh, odor intensity detection, and Enos has the ability of odor quality selectivity. But all of the sensors have lack uh, of odor spatial resolution, and its selectivity needs to be improved. My lab have developed a Florence scale film because the Florence problem is uh, probes probes. Uh, is nanometer uh, class size, so these film sensors have high spatial resolution, and uh, from these two Florence picture, we can uh, tell about this hand shape odor and this uh, leaf shape odor. But this film sensor also have a problem. This problem is the interaction between uh, Florence probes. To solve this problem, uh, let me introduce. Uh, why this uh, interaction will happen. Uh, when an uh, odorant comes close to a Florence probe, because of a uh, friend uh, mechanism, the odorant will enhance or crunch the Florence intensity of this uh, Florence uh, dyes. Uh, this is what we want, but it also happens when two uh, Florence probes uh, come together and one uh, intensity will go down and one will uh, increase its intensity. To solve this problem, we uh, divide a microbial structure to separate uh, each uh, uh, Florence dye uh, from a uh, distance of about one nanometer to uh, 100 or five, uh, 500 nanometer uh, microbial structure. And the way we do uh, fabrication of uh, Florence microbeads is presentation polymer, uh, polymerization method. This method has two advantages. One, one advantage is, is to produce uniform size uh, microbeads. And, and the bead uh, size is about five, uh, 500 nanometers. And second advantage is uh, this method can be used to uh, make uh, to produce MIP uh, polymer. MIP polymer have a, a tem template recognition ability, so it can uh, enhance the sensor's uh, odor selectivity. From this uh, same image, we can see the bits or all about uh, almost the same size of uh, 500 nanometer, and from Florence image, we can see one uh, bit or have the uh, these Florence characters. Our purpose of this uh, sensor is to give odorant selectivity to uh, each 
uh, each Florence microbeads. So we have to, uh, if we want to achieve this purpose, first uh, we have to uh, find out the Florence depends, uh, dependence of a single color Florence uh, multi microbeads film. So we uh, have seven groups of films. One film is have no Florence beads. One is a uh, mix, mixture of four kinds of single color micro beads. And one is the beads is made of uh, four different uh, Florence dyes. And the other four films is about one single uh, Florence dye micro beads. Uh, from this uh, two picture, uh, this so, uh, sum of four uh, single uh, single uh, microbeads uh, intensity is almost uh, the same as uh, uh, this single color Florence Martyr uh, microbeads film. So we can uh, we can tell this uh, Florence probes in microbeads uh, have no interaction with others. The second step we uh, to use this microbeads to uh, make uh, carry out uh, older invalidation experiments. Uh, at first, we make two kinds of MIP uh, and uh, NIP microbeads. MIP is uh, have a molecular uh, recognition uh, uh, power, and uh, NIP is no imprinting polymer. And uh, we use CCD camera to record record uh, Florence uh, photos before <coughs> the gas explosion and after gas explosion. And this video is uh, what happened when the gas in injection and the film uh, is uh, is Florence intensity is changed. This uh, light part is where the gas uh, in part uh, contact with this film. We can see the Florence intensity increased remarkably in the first uh, 10 uh, seconds, and the MIP Florence uh, film uh, shows stronger recognition than the NIP film. The, uh, the next uh, experiment, we mix the two kinds of uh, MIP microbeads. HMIP microbeads is to detect uh, one hexanode HAMIP microbeads is to detect uh, a hexanoic acid. When this uh, two picture, we can see uh, mixed Florence dye uh, microbeads have remained their own uh, Florence spectral, and the multi Florence dye uh, microbeads can take part to kind of different other gas. Finally, our conclusion is interaction between uh, Florence dyes is avoided by uh, in, encapsulate Florence dye into five nanometers uh, size microbeads, and it's possible to use uh, wide wavelength information caused by odorants. The second conclusion is molecular imprinting polymer enhance the sensitivity of our sensors. We can use this uh, microbeads film sensors uh, visible uh, odor gas and uh, even can identify two kinds of uh, odor gas successfully. Uh, thank you for your attention. <laughs>